All right, guys, Cubby and Terrell here with some Comic Con news. Okay, anyways. Good um, stuff, good yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got a huge announcement Saturday morning at Comic Con. Unfortunately, we were all running around with interviews, and you guys were all crazy with your thought processes going on because I was just as shocked as everyone else. Gone. Superman Batman looks like it's actually going to be me be made as the Man of Steel sequel. Yes, it's been great. Uh, it's been a crazy journey for that movie, kind of uh, just that premise of a movie to be, you know, to finally be coming because we've known, we've seen hints of it, you know, little little treasuries here and there talking about it, but nothing actually saying we're going to do it, we're finally about it. I don't know if many of you remember, but back when they did I Am Legend, they had the poster in the background as a little... Uh, Got everyone, and everyone was like, oh, yeah. what? I remember I saw the movie and I saw that poster and I almost walked out. I was like, I'm done. You know, like, I, this is all I need to see, you know? <laughs> like, but, it's actually a surprise I went to go see that movie. Or the only reason I saw that movie was because Dark Knight. And I wanted to mm -hmm. see the first night. The <laughs> but, like, you know, you see it and you, you're like, yes. And then the rumors started. Yeah. And then people actually, like, they didn't officially announce it, but they kind of hinted towards it. Then they went so far as saying that they're going to do yeah. uh, Justice League. Justice League is not happening. It's actually, it looks like it's going to be Superman, Batman. It's not the official title. It's, it's just kind of like what they're working with right now. Probably going to be called that. Might be called the world's finest. Who knows? Whatever they want. I don't care. And even um, with the... But, but they were also... They are also thinking about doing Flash in 2016. So it'd be Superman Batman 2015. Flash, hopefully... Hopefully 2016. And then leading into Justice League in 2017. Which... I don't know what's... Th I, I, I really don't know how to like feel about it. Because it's one of those things that has been talked about a lot. The Flash movie has been talked about a lot. Um, uh, the Justice League movie has been talked about a lot. The Justice League movie has been greenlit so many times. Same with Flash. Same with World's Finest. They are scared. You know, they got a little. They have an itchy trigger finger in a way. It's just they've kind of had like a 50-50 deal going with their movies. First thing, you know, they got Batman does great. You try Green Lantern. Eh. Superman does great. See, and, but you Batman know, did great for a whole different reason because B Batman did great because of the way it was made. And Green Lantern, sorry to say, it felt like it was just. But still, this is there. this is DC's name. This is yeah. their money that's on the line. So it's just that kind of you know rapport with their movies. They're they're a little scared about releasing stuff. So I, I for one, I thought it was amazing the way they announced it, and you know how they had uh, you know they had the other guy read off like that. The, the Dark Knight Returns. Yes, film. I was like, wait, what is Clark, happening? What is happening? Bruce Wayne talking to Clark Kent about like, no matter what, you need to remember. Remember, yeah. I'm the one that beat you. That's and it's right. Like, oh, is that what we're gonna? Expect? I was like, what's happening? Like, like truthfully, if they yeah. do a movie like that, like, they have Superman. He's a big. He's he's not a big bad. He's a superhero. And like the way Man of Steel worked out. Spoilers if you haven't seen it. Which if you haven't, you're dumb. But. um Starts off, and you, he's trying to be a good guy. Mm -hmm. And then Metropolis happens. And Metropolis is practically destroyed. And it's hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars of damage. And I mean, yeah, it sucks, and he can be viewed as like a villain at that point. Mm -hmm. But really, like, Zod was going to attack the city. He was going to destroy it as he it was. He was going to. That was the best of, of, of the two different options. Like, I mean, really, he had to kill him, and he had to just end, his, end what he was doing, because he was going to do more damage. So I think they can use that. As, oh, definitely. As the intro to Batman. Batman being the opposite of them, but at the end of it, they're going to be best friends. Well, I don't think... they're going to start the Justice League. I don't know. I don't think... I've seen a lot of hints and a lot of people rumoring about it's going to be a Batman versus Superman or Superman versus... I don't think it's that. I okay, think it's okay, going to okay. be a, a classic enemies at the beginning. Um, how I kind of see it in my eyes, maybe you got this organization in the background is going to turn out to be Lex Luthor. He's funding the, the rebuilding of Metropolis, you know? And then Batman comes in, he's seen these news flashes about, you know, this guy in Metropolis and what he's done wrong. He goes in the scope out the scene, you know, maybe they get into a little tussle, an argument, and then all of a sudden Batman starts figuring out, wait a minute, wait a minute, there's someone else behind this, That's you know, who's... That's basic comic book storytelling. Now. And it would work, any, you know? Any meeting of two heroes, whether they know each other or don't, always starts off with them fighting. Oh, who are you? I'm going to fight you because I don't know. Oh, wait, you're, you're the ultimate force for justice? I'm the ultimate force for justice. Boom. Well, we're best friends. You're like, the white exactly knight and I'm the dark knight? Yeah, it exactly works. Yeah, exactly how it's going to play out. I mean, we could see it already made. It's just a matter of them actually doing it. And, and yeah, like, how they and actually how they execute it. it. And if they yeah. keep the kind of sense that Man of Steel had, I think it'll work really well. Because it, Man of Steel, to a certain extent, was pretty real. real. 
in terms of the way people perceive Superman, the way people like like the I military love how, like that perceive how he was, you know, how, how you saw him. He was let very them alien. Believe, like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna let them believe like these the handcuffs are gonna hold me. They're not. I can literally break them apart like that. And he does that, and it's awesome. And it's like that's yeah. that's what he would do. Like, that is Superman. He's human. He wants to let you believe that he can totally like become. And not but that, anyways, yeah, anyways, not that we want to stay on a Man of Steel <laughs> kick, which we could go on with forever. But they made him so an alien, funny. which was amazing. They they forced the fact that he's an alien so much, so more than anything I've ever seen, which was great. And I think that it's gonna all be connected to you know Bruce Wayne, like we saw with the satellite, um, and and um, Lex Luthor. I think. Well, he's going to be the villain of like the that, next movie. Stuff like that, it's just world building. Maybe, but I, think, Luther, I think it's Lex, a hint. Lex Luthor, if he isn't the villain in the next movie, I won't be completely hurt because literally he was the villain in six Superman movies. Well, he doesn't have to be the main villain. He no, could be like a okay. mastermind in the, the background, you know? like. But either way, it's way too early to talk about. It's way too early to like actually formulate ideas and everything. We can theorize all we want, but it's coming. Theorizing is fun. Superman, Batman, Batman, Superman, World's Finest, whatever the freak you want to call it it's gonna be great i'm like my as brain's as diarrhea they're, they're right starting, now you can't even think they're starting the path towards the justice yes, League movie yes that's all we can ask for so thank you dc let us know what you guys think in the comments below what's your theory on batman superman superman batman